Master Series in Cincinnati. The feature match today was James Blake versus Patrick Rafter. James, what a great match you had uh, today. Uh, what do you think about it? I think I played well, and I, I, I'm a little disappointed because I'm a competitive person. I always want to win. I felt like I had a chance to win today, but Patrick just proved why he's uh, one of the best players in the world. He came up big on important points, and then uh, really took advantage of a slight letdown by me in the second set, and really uh, made me work even harder in that second set, and kept putting the pressure on me. Uh, but I do feel like I learned a lot, and I feel like uh, I'm close, which is something Patrick 16, has told me 16. before, that uh, that's when it really gets fun, is when you're close, and you can... Uh, you can improve on that, and you can really see uh, see when you get better, and you can see the the result coming. And uh, and he always feels encouraged by that, and I take a lot of uh, I, I take a lot from him. I mean, I learn, I try to learn from someone like him, and and I, that's something that I think I can learn from. Well, tell me about that uh, first set tiebreaker, and you your set point. Uh, okay. Uh, well, first set point, I just I missed the second serve return. Uh, I really wanted to go for it and make sure to go for my shot, which I did. Just caught the tape. Um, so I can't really do anything about that. And then uh, I had uh, I hit two pretty good volleys, and Patrick just I mean, being as, as feisty as he is, he made me hit another volley, and that's one that I, I probably I think thinking back on it, I should have made. I should have made maybe a little, give myself a little more margin for error. But I, uh, I, mean, I went for the drop volley, which was probably the right shot, and I just I just missed it, caught the top of the tape. It's unfortunate, and then he played uh, played two great points. Was there amount of a letdown for after that uh, first set? Uh, yeah, I think there was a little bit, uh, which is what he sensed, I think, and he then put the pressure on me even more, which is, which added to it. And he uh, he played great. There there wasn't a, a whole lot I can do. I realized that uh, to win that match, I would have to work a lot, of, uh, work very hard, and get it to the third set. And uh, I think maybe uh, I just didn't move 100% to every single ball in that in that second set because of that, because I was maybe trying to conserve a little energy, and uh, you can't do that against someone like him. And you really have to go uh, go all out and just test your limits and see how long you can go for. And um, he he took advantage and proved why he's one of the best in the world. Tell me, uh, was the heat a factor at all? Yeah, um, I think so. I mean, it's, it's the same for both of us, though. And. Uh, it was it was pretty warm out there, and I think if it had gone three sets, there may have been a uh, it may have been more of a factor. But as it was, it was just uh, just playing out there on a hot day when you know you're going to lose a lot of fluids and got to replace it all and replace your electrolytes and and um, just try not to worry about that and try to stay cool, stay in the shade when you can and get some ice towels on the changeover. But it uh, I don't think it it would have changed much the the way it was. Well, I I heard a lot of fans out there. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, there are fans. Uh, it sounded like there are fans going both ways, and uh, feels good because he's definitely one of the most liked players out on tour. I mean, everywhere he goes, he's got fans that are that are cheering for him. So to have a, a lot of fans cheering for me as well is a uh, is a good feeling. Um, I like the fact that in America there's going to be uh, there's going to be hopefully people cheering for me, and uh, I really appreciate that when when fans come out to watch. It's it's a great feeling. Uh, it makes tennis more fun when you're playing in front of a crowd, and. Uh, I think that's that's what every tennis player, every kid growing up playing tennis, uh, wants to wants to get to. That that's the point they want to get to when they have fans coming out and cheering for them. So it's it's a lot of fun for me. Is this going to help your confidence when you go into the next tournament? Uh, definitely. Uh, I look at this as a good week. Uh, there's only going to be one winner every week, so you can't say, well, I lost a match, so I feel bad and I lost my confidence because I mean, there's 63 guys that are going to lose tough matches this week. But uh, I just look at it as I had two good wins, and I played a, a third match that I played well in, and just came up against a guy that's playing some some great tennis, some top level tennis. And uh, next week, I'll go into that first match saying, you know, just try to play the same way I have been playing, and uh, anything I I feel like I did wrong, I can look to improve and just keep getting better. So who's coaching you these days? Brian Barker is my coach. He's been my coach for the last. 11 years. I've been with him since I was 10 years old, and uh, he's helped me in every aspect of my tennis. Uh, so, he's been and, great. and your hitting partner? Uh, just, I mean, I've been warming up with Marty Fish the last few days. Just kind of whoever's around and uh, and is maybe playing at the same time. It just happened that Marty warmed me up the first day, and he didn't mind doing it the next few days. So, I've been warming up with him. Well, you bring a bit of flair to this game. Um, what do you think about that? Uh, well, that's just kind of the way I was, I've always played. Is I, I try to use my athleticism, try to uh, 
make some scrambling gets. It's a little tougher in this heat to really go all out and go for every shot, but uh, but uh, I, that's just the way I played, and um, it's a lot of fun for me, and I hope it's fun for the fans too. Well, I thank you very much, Steve Singleton reporting.